Hey guys, it's me Kalika and welcome back to my channel. On today's Foundation Friday, I am going to be giving the Revlon Color Stay a run for its money. This is the normal to dry one and I have the shade 150 Buff. I've had this for a while but it's been so long since I used it that I wanted to give it another try. As I said previously in the next clips, I feel like it's a great colour match. We are not going to blame the foundation for this bad boy sticking out. I explain that later. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see how this one wears throughout the day. I feel like it's looking okay on the skin. I feel like it's a good colour match. And we're going to see how this one wears. So if you want to see me applying this and then my thoughts, stick around for the next clip and I hope you enjoy. All right, guys. So I'm going to start with primers on one side of my face, illuminating at the high points and the pore filling just a little bit on the textures here. sponge on one side, a brush on the other, in the shade one, uh, 150 Buff. Let's go in with a second bit, see if it's buildable. Okay guys, so I'm going to call this medium to full coverage it is buildable and i feel like you can apply it with a sponge or a brush like both sides look good obviously i have this friend that's decided to come and visit overnight that does not want to be covered so i'm going to try take a little bit of concealer and see if that will cover it because it is huge that's as best as I am going to get that one covered all right so it doesn't feel too bad on the skin at the moment this one is the normal to dry formula um I like I said doesn't feel too heavy on the skin but I can actually feel it on my skin so 
that's not necessarily a positive. I feel like it's a good colour match, which is good. And I'll finish the rest of my face and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I am back. I finished the rest of my face. The hair is tied up today because I have to run a bunch of errands. So I will be giving this foundation a run for its money. So to recap, this one here, it's not helpable. Okay, it's not the foundation's fault. It's this one. I put a pimple patch on it last night and it's still like for lack of better wording, oozing. <laughs> so I'm not going to blame the foundation for not being able to cover that. Even my most heavy duty concealer could not cover it. Um, so, so far, I feel like it's looking good on the skin. I am already getting a little bit of creasing on either side. We know that's common. Um, I, I do love the colour match. I don't feel like I can really tell a difference between my face and my neck. So that's another positive. It's feeling good. I'm going to see how it feels throughout the day. As we know, I get quite dry. And yeah, let's see how this one goes today. Okay, guys, I am back for my first check-in. So it is currently... 12.08 and I probably forgot to mention at the start but I finished putting this on at 7 a.m. So far it's holding up okay. It's massively worn off here. I am creasing. Um, I had to wear a mask. I've had to go do the food shopping and everything so I feel like I definitely have those mask lines so it is not mask proof. Um, it's separating on my nose. You can see where I had the sunglasses a little bit. It is settling into my scarring as well. But then some parts, some parts still look good. Like here looks good, up here. Forehead looks okay. This used to be, when I first started wearing makeup, this was my absolute favourite foundation. So... You know, we obviously have a lot better options available to us now. Um, but I think at this stage, it's holding up okay, especially for a drugstore product. Um, but yeah, I will check back in with you later on today and we'll see how we go. Hi guys, so I am back for my final check-in on the Revlon Color Stay Normal to Dry. Um, I... I feel like where I had to wear the mask, it was really, really bad. It broke down, it separated, as I said in the last clip on my nose, I had to recover this, but that was because I was playing with it. Um, I feel like it, it's held up okay, it's still a good product, but over this one, I would recommend the L'Oreal Infallible 24-hour Fresh Wear. I would pick this one up over this one. I think Revlon has gotten too content in the product that they've had for so long that there's not really any improvements in the way that it, it wears and lasts. So highly recommend this one. I'd pick that up over the Revlon. And I think you can pick this one up cheaper, especially when you get it on sale. So that's it for this review. I'm going to probably rate this a 6 or a 7 maybe a seven it's not bad it's just not good so seven out of ten for this one it has held up it hasn't separated on my good areas but on my problematic areas it has so that's all i have to say for this video if you found it helpful at all please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye